We're in day 5,972 of where is Dalvin Cook going to be hanging his shingle in 2023? Where is he going to be playing uh, this fall? And will he redo his deal and come back to the Vikings? Will the Vikings trade him? Uh, in the unlikely event, if the Vikings cut Dalvin, where will he sign a free agency? Well, there's a new wrinkle, new shooter, as it were, as... The Denver Broncos uh, may have entered the picture. So uh, Mike Kliss, uh, a longtime beat reporter uh, in Denver, very, very respected, very dialed in. Uh, he did a mailbag. Now, it, the segment is called Kliss and Tell, but I don't know. Uh, Kliss Commander, I feel like is just it, it was right there. Uh, that reference sort of dates me. Anyways, uh, so Mike Kliss, uh, when answering a question uh, asking about the running back position, this way said, know this, there's no way the Broncos trade for Cook. Uh, or at least not with a restrict, uh, restructured contract agreement. Cook is due to make $11 million in cash this year with a cap hit of $14.01 million. The Broncos, after leading the NFL in free agent spending this spring, only have $11.7 million in salary cap space. The Broncos also have traded away too many draft picks over the past two seasons. Russ. Mm. Uh, and they don't have a second-round pick next year, uh, Sean Payton hiring, uh, so there doesn't appear to be enough draft capital to satisfy the Vikings. Uh, should the Vikings release... I mean, we'll take a couple thirds. That's about it. Uh, should the Vikings release Cook, and that seems to be what the multitude of interested teams are waiting, uh, then maybe Broncos general manager jumping George Payton, know him, who was part of the Vikings front office team that selected Cook in the second-round 2017 draft, makes a phone call. Now... He, he, Kliss is not saying that the Broncos are interested in trade, like a number of teams, like uh, rumored to be the Dolphins, the and also reported to be the Jets, the Broncos, uh, excuse me, the Cowboys, nailed it, as well as potentially the Bills. But it is important, and we'll get into why in a sec. But the Broncos, yes, jumping George Payton, former assistant to the regional general manager of the Vikings, became GM of the Broncos, and Sean Payton, yes. Yes, but hey, th this is a great opportunity to play one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite memes that we don't use enough. Douche. 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 Yeah, yeah. So the. The, the second worst thing that Sean Payton ever did was Bounty Gate. The worst thing is subjecting us to this Kevin James movie. Mm, mm. Uh, but look at the Broncos running back depth. So Javante Williams, stud, love him a lot. Coming back from ACL, though, question mark. And uh, you got do have Samaja Piran, who's a really nice, you know, more, more of a power back, more of a running back, too. You got Tony Jones. Maybe he changed his name to Tony Jones. I don't know. Tyler Batty, he's a baddie. Uh, Jaleel McLaughlin. I don't know. And then you got Burton, the fullback. But, yeah, the running back room leaves a little bit to be desired. And adding a guy like Dalvin. Also, uh, Cliss mentioned uh, potentially bringing in, like, Mark Ingram or Zeke Elliott or whatever. So, yeah, at, at that point. But, uh, again, it's important because this interest is potentially out there if the Vikings do cut him. Now, this could potentially drive up a little bit of demand because if there's uh, several teams out there that would be interested in Dalvin, if the Vikings do end up cutting him, that could actually increase the trade uh, value for teams that would be willing to trade for him. So the Dolphins, Bills, Jets, and Cowboys, uh, if they're just banking on, on waiting out the Vikings and waiting until Dalvin's a free agent, then they can sign up a new deal and not give up any draft capital. That might not happen because, I mean, even though return to Miami would make sense for Dalvin going home, uh, what if some other team offers him more money? And that's what what's going to happen if he hits free agency and it turns into a bidding war. So, again, just simple free agent interest, if cut, uh, could actually help his trade value because that increases the demand out there. So that may uh, jump the trade uh, value that you get for Dalvin from a you know late third. Maybe you get a day two uh, selection out of it. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. But, you know, with the Broncos, if you do want to explore a trade, I will accept because I'm so benevolent. Uh, PS2, Patrick Sertain, uh, as well as the third for Dalvin. I, I will do that for you, Broncos fans, because I'm looking out for you. That's exactly what happens, man. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Reportedly, Denver Broncos would have interest in Dalvin if he was cut. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once we'll support the work, put a little something in the Vedma. But to next time, Skull Production Value.